Thousands of years before the Jedi were invented, the Olmecs lived in eastern Mexico. Their powerful sorcery was perfected over 200 generations. Initially, individual seers trained very young apprentices among dozens of others doing the same. There was no money, no agriculture, no cities, and no writing system. Their only goal was to learn and practice real magic for themselves, as there was no other way to profit from it. As cities and large populations rose up on the earth and money began to corrupt everything, the warlike nature of such influences drove the seers into small lineages of around 15. They divided into groups for protection against the rising outside forces of darkness, such as the Spanish Inquisitors, but also for protection from their own kind, who became jealous to try to cash in on their magic. Over that great length of time, each seer discovered new secrets, often in a friendly competition with their peers. Due to the nature of magic itself, none could hide their discoveries. This is some of their technology, given freely in the hopes of saving their amazing knowledge. As a parting gift, Carlos Castaneda left us five new publications. Two were only bound in copy store format. One of those was Silent Knowledge. Carlos advised us to reach this state, also known as seeing, where we would find new leadership to help us continue without him. This video is intended to give you an idea of what that's like and to motivate you to work hard at learning to remove your internal dialogue so that you can reach this state. Before you can experiment with what's shown here, you must move your assemblage point all the way down your back, under, up the front to the level between your navel and the bottom of your stomach inside you, and across to the right, four inches from center. There it comes into alignment with the assemblage point of your energy body, and you gain the power to see anywhere in time and space, to anything any human could ever know. The problem then becomes, how do you find what you want to know, only a clean link to intent will resolve that problem for you. But how do you move your assemblage point? For this, Carlos gave us Tensegrity as an easier path into the second attention. Tensegrity done in darkness with perfect silence will make your energy body visible, and by watching what the various movements do, with your eyes wide open gazing at the results, you'll eventually reach that silent knowledge state. Although what you see here can be done standing up, it's recommended to sit down and allow your body to drift further towards a state of sleepwalking. The eyes are still open, but the body falls to sleep. This is slightly harder to do while standing, and so after the tensegrity moves your assemblage point far enough, try sitting down to gaze using the recapitulation slow head sweep. Perhaps the most common sight in silent knowledge is a dreamlike view of another place, floating in the air. Is it real? As Carlos said, any dream you perceive using silence is real, and you can even enter into these scenes and remain for hours, or share them with others. Another common sight are magical objects. Usually just a flurry of very bright colorful lights which take your breath away, they're so real and stable but sometimes they actually look like a real object. If your link to intent is very clean, you can pluck them from the air and play with them. A silent knowledge presentation is what you are most likely to notice next. Those come with a presentation method and a topic. The number of possible presentation methods is infinite as are the topics. There's not much to say about this except many times you get the voice of seeing explaining what you are looking at. And you can even get a real entity speaking and explaining to you, the way Nestor had Porfirio teaching him to read the mold marks on plants. But by far, the strangest thing you will encounter during silent knowledge is the abstract. Nothing can be said, thought or written about it. And yet, while you are experiencing it, it seems perfectly normal. It's only when you return to our allowed flow of perceptions that you realize the abstract can't even be thought about. 
and as such, it's a direct passage into sleeping dreaming. If you work hard to reach silent knowledge daily and become familiar with all of these forms, you will learn to layer them. Just don't expect or want a particular thing to happen and gratefully accept whatever presents itself. In this example, gazing into the abstract and leaving causes a dream bubble to form on the left, while silent knowledge in the middle explains to the person how they can enter it, so they do.